Yo, what's up everybody, High Voltage here, and today I'm bringing you guys a EasyCap 2.0 DC60 tutorial. It's a full setup tutorial, it's a uh, new and improved tutorial from the first one that I did on my old channel. Uh, this is my new channel, and uh, I decided to do a new and improved version of the tutorial. I thought I didn't cover everything correctly, and I did leave some things out. So today I'm going to try to cover as much as I know as possible, and make sure I uh, answer all of your questions in, in this video. So, yep. Okay, I want to start out by uh, giving you guys a few warnings and a few things to look out for before buying this product. Um, the EasyCap 2.0 DC60, probably the biggest issue is it does not support PAL60. Um, it will not record PAL60, and uh, my only solutions for that is either you have to get a Dazzle or a Roxio. I would not recommend getting the DC60 if you use PAL60. It's just too much of a pain and it will record your stuff in black and white. Um, you can risk trying to find the DC60 Plus. I do have a link in the description for everything you're going to need today. And I did find a link for the DC60 Plus, but I don't know if it's good. You can look at it yourself and uh, come up with your own opinion and see if it if you uh, want to trust it if you want to go ahead and trust it um, go right ahead but I would uh, wouldn't recommend it but you can try it out see if it works uh, but you do that at your own risk another big issue is the software your computer uses um, if you use Windows XP or Windows Vista you will be okay um, the EasyCap will work for Vista and XP it will not work for Windows 7 there is a way to make it work for Windows 7 and if you have Windows 7 um, I'll leave a link in the description go to that link and uh, this other guy made a pretty good tutorial teaching you how to use the easy cap on Windows 7 I don't know how to do it so I'll leave it to that guy he uh, makes a pretty good tutorial on the Windows 7 but if you use XP or Vista stick around I'll teach you how to use that and uh, I'll teach you how to use easy cap and you'll be just fine Another issue with the EasyCap is that it's not very desktop friendly. Um, I had a desktop computer that had Windows XP and everything was up to date. All the software, it had Service Pack 3, everything was up to date. And the ULead software acted funny, it acted weird, it didn't work well, and uh, it, I just had many issues with it. So if you want to take the risk and do that as well with a desktop, um, go right ahead. But if you have a laptop that has XP or Vista, you'll be just fine. For some reason, it likes laptops only. It doesn't like desktops, it likes laptops. Uh, go figure. But, yeah. Okay, now let's get this tutorial started. What's going to come in the packaging is the EasyCap itself, the software, and a USB extender. Okay, the first thing you want to do is install the software. Go ahead and take the EasyCap disk and place it in your disk tray. Okay, the software installation is pretty standard. Uh, you guys know how to install stuff, so I won't even have to go through any of that. But uh, install the EasyCap drivers first. Uh, make sure you do that correctly, or else the drivers will not work, and you'll just have to reinstall them. It's quite simple. Um, then install the ULead software. Um, when uh, the ULead software is going to ask you for a, uh, a code, it's going to ask you for a code. It should be on the back of your little CD flap thing that it came in. Um, if your CD flap didn't come with a code, uh, you can go ahead and use mine. I don't need it anymore. And it works for multiple computers. It's not just a one-time thing code. So if you guys need it, go ahead and use it. Um, and then install the DirectX 9 um, installer thing or whatever. Um, if you have DirectX 11, you don't need to do this. But I would install it anyway just in case or if you want to, just for safekeeping. And please remember, uh, after you're done installing everything, to restart your computer or else nothing will work. So please remember, restart your computer after installing everything. Okay, now for the setup. Um, you're going to need everything you see here. Um, the EasyCap, three splitters, and an RCA cable. I'm using the splitters with one male to two female. Um, you could use the opposite, uh, two female to one male. They both work just fine, but uh, these are the ones I bought. Okay, start out by plugging your EasyCap into a USB port on your computer. Um, you'll know it's on when the little green light is uh, glowing on your EasyCap. Then take your splitters and plug them into the side of your TV into the little uh, RCA ports. Um, if you have an HD TV, uh, it's perfectly fine. Just remember to plug it into the yellow, white, and red, obviously. Um, but I would definitely recommend using a digital TV if you have one because it'll look a little fuzzy and blurry on an HD TV, obviously, because it's not meant 
for a standard definition. So if you have a standard definition TV, use that, not an HD one, but it'll work fine with an HD one, but it is better with a standard def TV. Then you want to go ahead and plug in the Xbox cables into uh, the appropriate spots on the splitters. Uh, the yellow splitter one goes into the yellow cable, the white cable goes into the white splitter, etc, etc, you know what I mean. And uh, it will get a little messy uh, cable-wise on your side of your TV or the back of the TV, wherever the ports are. So uh, make sure you organize them correctly and make sure you plug them into the right slots. Then go ahead and do the same thing for the RCA cables. Take one end and plug them into the appropriate splitters as well. Then take the other end of those RCA cables and plug that into your easy cap. And then you're pretty much done. Now there are other ways to set it up. I don't have video of it. I, I couldn't record that because I don't have a TV that does this. But if you have a TV that has input and output ports on the back, you can use those. Um, you can take the splitters completely out of the equation. All you would need is one RCA cable. Plug the uh, Xbox cables into the input ports on your TV, and then plug the RCA cables into the output, and then plug the other end of those RCA cables into your easy cap, and you can do it that way, without splitters. And of course, there's the obvious uh, last setup where you just directly connect the Xbox or PlayStation. I forgot to mention PlayStation or Wii. This will work for PlayStation and Wii as well, but I, use, I have an Xbox. So this will work for uh, just tr connect directly connecting the Xbox wires into the uh, easy cap, and that's good for like recording in theater mode for Call of Duty. Um, it's not rec I do not recommend that for actually playing because it'd be extremely laggy while recording. So if you just want to record something from theater mode, uh, also for Halo Reach as well, uh, then you can just directly connect the Xbox cables into the Easy Cap. Okay, now we get to the final stage of the setup. Um, go ahead and open up ULead Video Studio. And uh, you get two options. You can use Video Studio Editor or Movie Wizard. Uh, Video Studio Editor is basically like Sony Vegas, a cheap version of Sony Vegas or Windows Movie Maker. Uh, you can use that, uh, but I just recommend using Sony Vegas. Um, and uh, it's just useless software that you don't need for recording. So go ahead and use Movie Wizard if you're just planning to record. Um, but if you want to play full screen, like if you want to use your laptop as a, a TV, you can uh, use the video studio editor and enlarge the screen in a video studio editor but you can't do it in movie wizard so use movie wizard go ahead and click movie wizard and uh, to record once you get into movie wizard go ahead and uh, click capture and once you get into capture click the uh, video options tab go to video options go to the first tab and uh, click video composite make sure it's on video composite not s video because we're not using s video um, make sure it's on composite. Uncheck the uh, audio thing. Uh, if you check it, you'll hear the audio coming out of your laptop, and it'll just make your computer uh, laggy if you're recording. So just shut that off. Um, uncheck it, and it will shut off the audio so you don't hear it while you're recording. Then go to the third tab and uh, click the advanced options. Okay, now in the advanced options tab, click 720 by 480. Make it NTSC 720 by 480. If you're in like uh, the UK or somewhere else that uses PAL, then click PAL 7 something by something. I, I forget what it is. But um, if you use NTSC, click 720 by 480. Then make the aspect ratio 16 by 9, which is widescreen. Then uh, make the uh, bit rate 7,000. You can uh, increase it to whatever you like. Uh, you can test it out, do a bunch of tests, see what works for your computer. You can lower it down to 6,000. That's as low as I would recommend it to go. Anything lower than 6,000 will look kind of crappy. So uh, 6,000 and up is uh, up to you. Uh, you figure out what is the best way for you to do it. And then make the audio 384. But wait a minute. The audio thing is a little weird. Watch when I click OK and then go back. You'll see that it's fine, right? It's 384 and it looks like, you know, it worked out. But if I click OK again and go back again, it says 64. It went back to default and 64 bit sounds terrible. Um, it has a little glitch. I don't know why it does this, but simply just turn it back to 384 and click OK again. And then if you go back, it'll be OK. But don't click OK again because it'll change it right back down to 64. Make sure you hit Cancel. And uh, if you go back again, let's see, it stays the same. And then hit Cancel again and you'll be just fine. After you do all these things, you can even check yourself. Uh, you, you can see that it's on my computer and it's on my TV. Um, the last thing you would have to do before recording is go on your Xbox 
go all the way to the right to the settings tab go to uh, display and make sure your settings are in widescreen and then after all that is done you can begin capturing your videos and who knows maybe you can become the next scene editors or <laughs> something like that become whatever you want to be use the EasyCap uh, to your advantage I don't use the EasyCap anymore I used to use it a lot and then I upgraded to the Hop Hog and uh, the Hop Hog is definitely a lot better than the EasyCap but if you were a small commentator like myself I, I started out using the EasyCap and I know how it is to start out with something so terrible and just doing your best to get the best quality with it that's what I did and that's why I'm sharing this tutorial with you uh, teaching you guys what I learned and uh, hopefully this helps you out Help hopefully this helps you out and uh, I just say good luck to you guys um, but other than that um, please remember to like the video please if this did help you out please remember to like and subscribe um, I do make commentaries myself which is why I'm helping you guys out a fellow commentator helping out another and of course one more thing you guys want to see the results of uh, what you guys are doing so um, go ahead and click the screen right now and it'll link you to an enlisted video on my channel showing you the quality you're gonna get uh, I use Sony Vegas to render my videos just like, like I said if you want the settings um, I'll leave a comment below telling you guys what the settings I use for Sony Vegas I don't I don't know how to use it on Windows Movie Maker I wouldn't even recommend using Windows Movie Maker you, you would have to try that on your own because I, I don't know how to, to do that but for Sony Vegas um, I would t I'll tell you guys the settings in a comment if you if you want me to just go ahead and ask me and I'll be happy to give you the uh, render settings that I used and uh, yeah go ahead and click the screen right now it'll it'll send you right to the video uh, the quality test video of the easy cap and uh, yeah other than that guys please remember to like and subscribe and I will see you guys later